I can't believe he saved me. I really cannot believe he saved me. Don't put so much weight on that, okay? No, no, but like... Look at me. Don't put so much weight on that. Yeah? Yeah. We're now down to $367,000. There are still six of us left because Tamika and Vanessa tied in the last Prove Your Worth challenge. James being the last and only person left to be financial advisor is a huge problem for Tamika and myself because he's basically already told us that our asses are on the line and basically regardless of whatever happens, we're going up. Okay, now we need to talk about what we're gonna do to save ourselves. I mean, it is me and you against the world right now. Here we are, James, our last financial advisor. Ain't that a bitch? But you know what? I'm a fighter, and I don't plan on going nowhere anytime soon. I don't know how we can get rid of one of them, but one of them needs to go. I just and you know what? It needs I... to be James, because James is the strongest. The only possible thing that can work in our favor at this point is to have James in the bottom two. As long as you're here, I'm strong. As long as I'm here, you're strong. And that's why we're such a threat to all these people. Can't just well, break other people life. down. I hate her ass even more now. I think it's beneficial for the rest of us because now we have one more person. Now we're like, we should get all that money across, for sure. At the last Prove Your Worth challenge, I wanted to be the one who made Tamika leave, and now I'm stuck with her big ass for another competition. I'm happy you went in because I'm happy it was a draw, and I'm happy you're a badass chick, and you know, to go up against another badass chick. Rusty's been a sneaky competitor in this game. He's definitely here to win it and he'll do whatever it takes to win it. Rusty threw me in the bottom three with Amy and Tamika and at the end of the day, it is what it is. I'm still here. You sure you got everything? Yes, sir. Let me know when you're ready. I'll just throw that. Fuck me, son of a bitch. Not in the oh. fire, no. And I'm like, oh, hell not. Nah. More mountains, more rocks. When is this gonna end? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? What up? How's everybody good? Yeah. yeah. Right behind you, 28 miles away, Vegas! Vegas! Yay! 61 bundles and one small one. That's $367,000. <laughs> 276 miles you guys have traveled to get to right where you are right now. But today, if you want to continue to Vegas, you're going to have to haul the cash over this next obstacle, the zip lines of Bootleg Canyon. This is some white people shit. Black people don't zip line? What is this? Today, you have to move the cash by zip line from the top of the canyon all the way to the bottom. The zip lines are suspended several hundred feet above the canyon floor, which covers a mile and a half of jagged rock. This is how it's going to work. These money bundles, well, they have to go down these zip lines. But those money bundles have to go in duffel bags. Now, there are four zip line legs. Each of the four zip line legs has its own individual bag. So at every platform, you're going to have to transfer money from the arriving bag to the departing bag. Now, there are six of you here. That means there's six jobs. At the start, or zone one, one of you have to solve a math problem to retrieve the bags from a locked crate. At zone two, someone will have to untie a cluster of complex knots to get the next set of bags free. At zone three, you'll need brute strength to hoist the bags up from the bottom of the zip line. And at zone four, someone will need to have good vision and puzzle skills in order to find the bags. The last job, this person will not be going on the zip line at all. Their job is to take that wheelbarrow down this two-mile mountain path all the way to the cash point. All right, James, it's time for you to hand out jobs, one to each person. I got a feeling that Tamika and Amy, they're going to throw this, and they're going to try to screw me. So me and Rusty, we got to be a little bit careful about it. Who's good at math? I'll right. do whatever. Knots. Knots. I volunteer to do the knots. And if I'm slow, hey, my hands hurt. Word puzzle? Word puzzle. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Are you fine with math? I'll do it. 
I mean, I'm sure. Well, you gotta be good at it if you. I'll do it. I mean, I I'll do whatever. See, I'm just worried because if you're not good at math, that's the first step. I'm know? sure it's not that hard. Do, do My least best subject in school was math. My most best subject probably was English. 62 minutes is your target time. 15 minutes thereafter is $1,000 per minute. After that, $5,000 per minute. Gotcha. All right. If you make it within the target time, you're safe, and you pick three people to be put up for possible elimination. If you don't, hit the button in time, and of course, you, along with two other people, are up for elimination. Now, there is a bit of a caveat. There is no safe investment. In other words, all three people up for elimination will go to the Prove Your Worth Challenge. There's no safe investment. All the more reason I got to stay out of the bottom three. Time starts now! Hey, all right, guys, thanks. Whoever's here, time starts. I grab Justin. Justin, you're gonna help me load the bags. Okay. After I don't get in there. I see my math problem, and I realize I'm gonna have to add, subtract, multiply, and divide just to get the box open. My team can't start actually getting the money to the checkpoint without me solving this problem, so I'm definitely trying to throw this. Let's go, baby girl. You know, keeping her in the beginning helps me out, because even if she does try screwing me, I can try to bust my ass to make up for the time that was lost. There you go, baby! It is insane, it's crazy. I am screaming like a little bitch. That was freaking awesome! I wanna do that again! James has me going down to zone two. I have to untie a whole bunch of knots so I can get the bags for us to put the money in. Get them knots out, girl. I'm gonna take my sweet time so that we run out of time and James can end up in the bottom. <laughs> I'm heading down to the third zone because my job is to pull up the bags that we're going to use for the zip lines. There it is. I have to pull 150 pounds, 400 feet incline, and pulling it up with a rope. It is one heavy son of a bitch pulling that in. <laughs> you up, Steve. Using my first kind letters that can be arranged to tell where the bags are. My job at my platform is to solve this word puzzle to find the bags that we need to transfer the money into to get them to the checkpoint. I have no idea what I'm doing with these binoculars. I've never used them before in my life. I have no fucking idea how to work them. How do you use binoculars? Like, seriously, no joke. You know what, it's basic adding, multiplying, and dividing, and subtracting, you know? I think anybody can do this. Here you go, darling, just recheck, recheck, that away. I still want to get all the money across the finish line, but just not in the time allotted. Could shot myself right in the foot with this one. You know, the challenge starts, one minute goes by, five minutes goes by, 15 minutes go by. Take your time. We're doing fine on time. We're running out of time. I'm just gonna start over. I have 10. I wanna punch Amy in the back of the head. How could somebody be this stupid? I wanna kick her down the fucking mountain. It's been 15 minutes. They haven't even moved the cash from their staging point to the next puzzle. I'm planning on throwing this and I definitely want to let the time run on the clock, but not as much time as I'm taking right now. Okay, so 172. I'm actually having a hard time with this math problem. This could end up costing us a lot of money in the long run. Never ending. It's just not, it's okay. I need a freaking knife. My strategy for this competition is to make sure we don't finish in time, and James will be in the bottom. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I have to pull 150 pounds. This is super hard, and I'm glad that I had this task as opposed to somebody else because there was no chance in hell that Justin was going to be able to do this or anyone. I bring the bags into the platform, and I open them all up, and I sit and wait for the money. 
Oh my God, you're fucking kidding me. I'm down at the fourth platform. I have to use some binoculars to find some letters to spell out a phrase, and it's not physically demanding at all, so I should have plenty of time to do this. Fuck, dude, I don't know. These letters are like miles away, and they're hidden somewhere in the canyon. They're hard as hell to find. That's not letters, is it? Sweetheart, you had the first two. I know. Get the grand total. Yeah. Then divide it. Whatever's five. in the division box. Yeah, by five. How could somebody be this stupid, 27 years old, and can't do basic math? How has she made it through life? There's no doubt in my mind that Amy is throwing this. There you go, darling. A kid could do this. Yeah. Fuck. Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm super disappointed in myself right now. I was trying to stall on the challenge, and now I just feel really stupid. I can't believe I couldn't do the problem faster. Sorry, loading these bags up. I'll run them down. I'm taking two bags at a time, taking them down. Tamika, I'm sending them down. I finally get all the bundles loaded up. The rest, I give to Justin and send Justin. Think you got it? Yeah, it's fine. He's got a lot of ground to cover and not as much time as he needs. Ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Later, man. I get stuck on my zip line. Sweetheart, just try to unload those. I'll be with you in a second. I have to wait for you. That's bullshit. Once the money's sent, you can start unloading that. So I know she's throwing it. We can put five in each of these. Okay. James, I'm not packing any bags. I'll pack your bag when you have to leave. She's not even going to bring the money over the next jump site? Like, hello? I need to get the rest of this money down there, so I got a chance at saving myself. Too much time has passed, and we haven't even made it down to the third station. And take as long as you can. Now I got to try to figure out a way to make up this time. Oh, this is fucking stupid. I have 13 bricks in the wheelbarrow, and going down this hill with all these bumps and rocks and stuff like that, it's hard. I'm so over this bullshit. Because any one bump, the money falls out with that bump. Damn it. And this wheelbarrow is a piece of shit. Damn it. What's up, Big Papa? Right, bye. James finally gets to my station. It's a relief, but at the same time, we're in trouble. She really fucked me. Huh? She fucked me, man. Who did? Tamika. Are you serious? Yeah, and then Amy screwed me, too. Clearly, the girls have taken a page out of our book, and exactly what we did to them, they're doing to us. And James and I are frustrated. I'm at the top of the third platform. Rusty and James are bringing the bags up. They have about 10 minutes left. I got the hardest fucking job, and they took forever. Oh. UPS? I'm looking out in the canyon, and I see this sign with letters on it. It says UPS. OK, finally. I know what I'm looking for now. My strategy is to just kind of pan over and just stay in a straight line and look for any other signs. And it seems to be working because I found another sign. I-D-E. Ooh, that's heavy. Time is up. James, he's on the chopping block. He's got to pick two other people up for possible elimination. This sucks. Like, I'm in the bottom three, and I can't save myself. Don't worry about it, buddy. Dude, I don't feel good, right? Just let me go. Like, I'm hurting. I'm tired. But you know what? We need to get this money across. And you know what? I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it through. E-A-R. OK. Look down. James? James? See if you can help me, please. Vanessa comes running up to me with jumbled words all over a board, asking me for help. All right, these are the letters that we can use, OK? 
and it spells a message, so it's hard. You've had 45, 50 minutes to get this done. Like, how am I supposed to know what's going on? What's the message? It's supposed to tell us where to find the bags at. Does anybody do their job around here besides me and Rusty? Oh, look, upside down. What upside down sign? The upside down sign. The upside down sign is clear over there. I am so relieved when I finally figure this message out. It took me forever. That's fucking clear over there. The only problem is the bags are like 300 yards down in this canyon. James, get down here! Grab him and fucking bring him, let's go! The 12 minutes over the target time. There's no money at the cash point. Ready? Yep. I'm finally on the last zip line to get all the money down. We're way past target time. All I need is Justin to be there with the wheelbarrow. <sighs> you can just put the bags up. Yeah, no shit. You don't have to unpack them. And Justin's coming over the ridge. Justin's Hurry up, Justin! I start loading the money on. I see Justin come around the corner. I know that he's still got a lot of money, and that will make up for a lot of our deficit. 34 minutes over. You still got two bags. By the time I start lowering money onto the checkpoint, we're losing $5,000 a minute. Right now, it's $130,000 that they've been penalized. Justin, he's coming with the last of the cash. I feel horrible. I know we lost a butt ton of cash, but even if I were to put people at different positions, I still feel I still would have got screwed. You guys started off with 367,000. 38 minutes was your time penalty. It's $130,000 you lost because of time penalties. You guys left five bundles out on the course. That's another 30,000. That's $160,000 that you lost today. That means you guys have 207,000. It's very frustrating because I'm working my ass off and doing the best that I can. I just expect the same from the rest of my teammates and they can't do what they're supposed to do. They suck balls. James, you didn't hit the button in time. You're up for elimination along with two other people. Yes, sir. Guys, grab your cash. Campsite's right over there. Head out, and I'll see you guys later. You know, like, I'm pissed. This, this, this is literally my nightmare. I gotta break up that alliance. There's no doubt in my mind that Tamika and I are going in the bottom three. I'm not fighting, I'm not arguing. It is what it is. Let's drink. So how did it go um, with your whole little section or whatever? Fine. We should have killed it, though, if everybody did what they were supposed to do. You know, I wasn't up there. I didn't know the math. I didn't do the math problem. But if the math problem would have got done faster, that would have shaved time. And if the bags would have got done faster, you know, everything would have been perfectly fine. Yeah, if everything would have sure. went done. It is what it is. We only have $207,000 left. I'm pissed at myself. More than anything, I'm pissed at Tamika. And I'm really upset at Amy. I'm not going to lie, it felt like What's-her-name wasn't working with me, and I was just like, whatever. We all individually had to do our job, you know what I mean? I don't think anybody else could have done a better job than you did with it, honestly. We could go back and try to beat ourselves up about it. It is what it is at this point. I don't give a fuck. They're going out with me. I'm super disappointed in myself right now. I was trying to stall, and it actually ended up costing us way more time than I ever had planned. I feel really bad. Amy. Hmm. I didn't know you were in here. What's wrong? I'm just disappointed in myself. I Why? Guess right now, just because like, I feel stupid. Girl, I was happy that you took so long. I was taking my time with those knots, too. The thing is, is like I was really trying. I just like don't feel like I, I have a, like any more like fight. Good thing I had enough fight for the both of us. And guess what? I'm going to fight. I know. I know that my ass is on the line right now. I know I'm up. James is definitely up. The only thing left to know is who's going to be up with me. James has had to prove his worth. Rusty hasn't, and that's not fair. James is so focused on like his vendetta against me for putting him up, which I'm not the one to really put him up. Rusty put him up. I think I may have a way to get through to James. I got to let James know that Rusty, his partner in crime, is the one that put his ass on the line.
It's not gonna lie, your ass in itself is motivating me. Not like your ass or your body, like as you were mentally, but your ass has motivated me so much. I'll do it all day. Please I'll do it all day. You know? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's what, what I do. do. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> My ass is from this chair. I think the fire just got bigger. Something got big. Do you want to talk? Yeah. I know that my ass is on the line right now. The only card I have left to pull right now is to let James know his good friend is the one that put his ass on the line. Like, I know you hate me, and it's fine. This may mean nothing to you, but I promise you, I was never putting you up. But then Rusty came, and he said, look, I cannot beat him. Please put him up. I was gonna put Chucky and Vanessa up. You can ask Amy. He had to come here and talk me into it. He was like, look, I can't beat James. I do not want to go up against James. I'm like, look, I, we just want to get back. That's why. You made the decision. He didn't put a gun to your head. So you're cool with Rusty putting you up, but you never putting him up? You know, Rusty's my best friend. But then again, there's been times he's been playing the game. Maybe he isn't my best friend after all. I really do appreciate you coming in here and telling me this. James, may I also talk to you, my friend? Sure. Yes, I mean, I've already told him the truth, yeah. We didn't even want to put you up. We thought the final four honestly was going to be me, you, Rusty, and Tamika. Yes. Like, that's really that's what we wanted. We were really trying to that's get back on your wanted. good side. But do you realize the only reason you were ever put up was because, because your friend? Because of him? Who is she in there, bitch? Is James in there? I have my opinion. But he's like preying you on you. You're great. You're and he, great like, ha he really I does have you in his pocket. Let's go in there. Let's go put your like, head against the trailer and like, go quietly, go quietly, go quietly. Pretend you're getting a beer. You know, let me talk. Sure. I know the dude's fall. And like, Rusty thinks, well, Rusty doesn't think Rusty know he has you in your pocket. But like, I'm praying to God and like, I stay here, I would love to go up against Rusty because you thought I was dirty in that challenge. Like, I will be so nasty and dirty with him. Like, I will hands down beat his little bony ass, period. Yep. Oh, shit's getting heavy. And I hope that I meet him face to face. Okay. I'm going in fighting. I'm not going to go in with my head down. Fuck no. I'm not going to feel like I'm a girl and I can't do it because you know what? I'm not a girl. I'm a woman and I'm giving it all my heart tomorrow. Okay. You know what? I want to make it go on no matter what. But at the same time, it makes me kind of question myself about Rusty and how he's been playing the game. All right, cheers, no matter what happens. I am scared, nervous. I don't know if he wants to put me up. Shit's getting dirty right now, dude. For all I know, it could be me and you going up. We'll see what happens. I don't know how he's thinking and how he's playing the game at this point. Not looking good for me at all. Do honey! What's up, what's up? All right, James, I know you're fired up right now. You've probably been fired up since the challenge, right? It is what it is, you know what I mean? You guys lost 160,000. I'm, I'm a little pissed about that, you know? 207,000, that's all you guys got left. It's still a good amount to play for, though. It's, it's still a good number. It's better than nothing, man. James, generally, I would ask you for the two other people that you want to put up for elimination, but I want to let you know that I don't need that right now. OK. You can give that to me tomorrow. But I want to give you a little bit of information. Tomorrow's Prove Your Worth challenge will eliminate two people. It's going to be a double elimination. All I can see is Tamika and I going into the bottom two, and I'm wondering, can we ever catch a break? The game that you play will decide which of the three people who are not up for elimination has the power to send two people home. Dahani lets us know that the three people that are safe from elimination will be the deciding factors of who stays and who goes. And that Prove Your Word Challenge is going to send two people home. The people that are not up for elimination decide who's going home. Not looking good for me. Right now, I don't have a lot of people I can trust here. No one's looking out for me, but Amy. James, you get it? I'm a drink. All right, I'll see you guys later. See you later, bro. You get it? Yeah, so, so... So now it's either you can take my word, take their word, her word, his word, and then throw up whatever you want. I am extremely worried. Since James only wants Tamik and I to go into the bottom three with him, I'm pretty sure that that decision will stick. However, that means that Justin, Vanessa, and Rusty will be the ones deciding who stays and who goes. Look at him, like, right in his face, like, I got your back, bro. I put you up, but I got your back, bro. Who does he think he is? 
Let's get this party started. I'm more than ready. You are the one that came in and told me to put James up. I'm not here up. to fight. He wasn't coming up. But you want to put that up. I said to put yeah, James yeah, up. Yeah, you want to put that up in his face. You had him been with him when you were, like, telling me to put him up. But I would rather put have two him two go up than up. me. Yes, yes. You're absolutely, James, you are absolutely right. I'd rather have you gone than me. You are, I want you gone over me. I want to win this. It's a fact. <laughs> I know. Rusty admits to it which is huge of him, but at the same time, like, I'm hurt and I'm kind of torn. Like, dude, I thought we were bros, man. Don't you feel the same? I know, I mean. I hope so. But you're seeing something else ready. behind his back. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Maybe, oh, yeah, that is true. That I is true. Oh, yeah. Rusty and Tamika are arguing right in front of me, trying to change my mind. Beg me Why am I stuck in the middle of this, Why am I stuck in the middle of this? I don't deal well with confrontation. Why do you think I've been drinking so much? The shots? Yeah. Please. I'm pretty worried that Tamika and Amy are going to change James's mind, so I'm going to have to change it up if I want to survive. You know what? Let's not give him a chance to be alone. Come on. If they can have drinks, so we can have drinks. <laughs> you want another drink, with? James? Because I'm going to have another drink. Be careful what you drink from him, James. Rusty and James only have power in this game if we give it to him. I'm not here to fight. If this is my last but fucking you, night with you guys, you then I'm sorry. But you friend up. You're right, I did, because I wasn't here friend, to make fun. Guys. Why are you letting him play you? Your friend is playing you. It's everything's out on the table. I told him everything. But that's not cool. That the, you're, right, you're right, it's not cool, but I'm not here to make friends. You know what, the girls make a good point, you know? Maybe Rusty isn't as good a friend as I thought he was. Maybe I should put him up in elimination, too. It's a brand new day, and I need to convince Vanessa and Justin to at least make sure James goes home along with one other person, and I'm just hoping that other person is not me. If it's me, Tamika, and James, if you guys, you and Vanessa especially, are playing this game smart, you're gonna send James home. I know you know that, but like... It's hard, because who am I choosing out of you two if I get the power? No, I don't care who you choose out of us, but James needs to go home. Well done. And like, she needs to know that. Vanessa, we know she doesn't like us. We know that she hates Tamika, but she needs to understand if she doesn't help send James home, she's basically sending herself home. So what do you think about like, it? I just want... What do you think about it? You have to keep people here who are strong, yes, but who you could feel that like you could beat. Yeah, I know. I understand what Justin's talking about right now, but I'm kind of torn, because I don't know if I should make a decision with my head or with my heart. This is life-changing money. This is gonna change one of our lives forever. Do you want a nice car? Do you want a new house? Do you want everything? Or do you want to go home with no money and say, well, I gave them my word. Vanessa, is it that important to you to keep James here so he can lose in the end? No. What can you do? Yeah, you know, because it's getting down to the nitty gritty anyway, you know? It's kind of hard to not want to get rid of Tamika or Amy because one's a slut and one's a bitch. Neither of them deserve the money. So you're gonna stand it now? Yeah, I get it. Good, good. Even though I talked to Vanessa, I don't know what she's gonna do. I really don't. Regardless of what happens at the Prove Your Worth Challenge, James needs to go. The strongest one needs to fall. It's time to go to the Prove Your Worth Challenge. I know I'm up already. I'm a strong competitor. Nobody really wants to face me in the end. Everybody's a myth to being scared of me. James, unfortunately, we have to get down to business. You lost 130,000. Yep. Because you did not hit the button in time, you're up for elimination, so please come up onto the stage. So I need to know now the two people. Well, I mean, I think this goes without saying. Tamika. You're up here. Look, people, I played the game with my heart, I played the game hard, and I played a little dirty. It's no shocker that I'm up here right now. Tamika, do you feel you should be up here? No, I think if anyone should be up here, Rusty should also be up here. Rusty was afraid of James then, and he's still afraid of James now. I did his dirty work, he's gonna do it behind his back, not in his face. I think he's a complete loser. James. Uh, secondly... Uh, well... James needs to know that Rusty's the reason that he was even put up for elimination in the first place. Uh, I'm pretty worried that Tamika and Amy are gonna change James's mind. So I don't know how he's thinking and how he's playing the game at this point. Tamika, James, you guys are up for elimination. James, 
Who was the last person to be up for elimination? Uh, well... It's gonna be Amy. Oh. It's so annoying that James doesn't care at all that Rusty's the reason that he was even put up for elimination in the first place. Now, congratulations to the three of you. Vanessa, Rusty, or Justin will decide which one of you will remain and which two goes home. This couldn't have worked out any better. Two out of the three people that I want to go home are guaranteed to go home. It sucks for James if he goes because he's my boy, but it's going to make winning that money in the end a whole lot easier. Here's how it works. The game is called Break the Bank. As you see over there, there are nine glass banks, which represent each of the remaining teammates. Three for Justin, three for Rusty, and three for Vanessa. The three of you will take turns with this slingshot and break the glass of the bank of the person you do not trust. The last glass bank remaining, the person whose name is on there, will determine which of you stays. I'm 99.9% .9 positive I can count on Justin. Vanessa is kind of iffy, and Rusty wouldn't trust him to save my life. James, once you come down, stand behind the bundle of cash. Time to prove your worth now. Right away, I start shooting for Justin. I need to take him out. I don't know if I can really trust him out of the other two. Justin, one of your banks has been broken. Boom! James hits my box. I'm just like, hey, you son of a bitch. What are you doing? I mean, like, if you want to hit my box, then we can go to the RV. Amy's next. Close, but the glass did not break. Tamika? Tamika, hit mine if you love me. Almost as aimed at, I think it was aimed at Rusty. Fuck. Oh. Ow! <laughs> Two of Justin's banks have been shattered. Really? Why do you hate oh, me? God. Boom! Rusty, one of your banks really has been broken. Wow. Justin, all three of your banks are gone. Yeah, fuck you two. <laughs> Holy crap, Tamika and I really need to start breaking some glass because James is going to crush us in this competition. Rusty, two of yours have been broken. Focus. If Tamika hits your glass box, Vanessa, the choice is up to you. Think about where it's going. Yes! yes! Rusty. Yeah. On the bottom, bitch. Now Vanessa is the one who gets to decide who stays in the game, and all I can hope for is that she is realizing that this is a game, and she needs to play it for herself. Any last words? Um, I know that you and I haven't been BF since we've been here, but you don't want to go against someone that is definitely going to beat you. and also threw you under the bus. If you remember that, he and Rusty both said that they wanted you gone. And I was the one right there with you, patting your back. Like, it's OK. That was me. And I'm hoping that you make the right decision. All right, Vanessa, tell me the first person who's not going with you to Vegas. I think we all know the first person who's not going with me to Vegas. She knows, I know, Tamika. Oh, hell nah. Tamika Rashawn is going out on her own terms. You know what? Fuck you. You're throwing me under the bus over someone that's obviously going to beat you. So you obviously don't have a brain. I never thought you had a brain. You fucking cunt. If I could spit on you, if my spit would go far enough from here to there, Try I would. it. I would. Let's oh, see what happens. Are. So immature. Really? Oh, really, yes, Tamika? Really. Tamika hawks a wet one on her. It is disgusting. Tamika, you're eliminated. Shocker. The Tamika Shocker. Rashawn show Shocker. has just Shocker. been canceled. Shocker. Shocker. Okay? Shocker. Please. Shocker. Please exit. I'm sorry. Walk away. You know what? I do have one more last thing that I want to say. And I hope you all get this. All of you can kiss my big black ass. Seriously, that's what all of you fuckers can do. Seriously, kiss it. Kiss my fucking ass. Deuces. Vanessa, it comes down to two people, James and Amy. Who will not be joining you in Vegas? I don't want to have to make this decision. Like, this is too much for me right now. 
Wow, this is really hard for me. I want somebody else to have to do it. I can't do it, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Vanessa, it comes down to two people, James and Amy, who will not be joining you in Vegas. Vanessa just sent my girl Tamika home, and now it's down to James and myself, and I am freaking out. This is really hard. OK, so James, you're an amazing person. You were honest, and you busted your ass out there, and you pulled more weight than any of us. But I made a promise to my mom before I came out here that I would do anything it takes to help pay off all the debt and all the shit that we've been through. And I got to stay true to that. And I know that I could not beat you in a physical or mental competition. And I love you, James, so much. I do. I think you're an amazing person. You deserve to be here more than anybody. All right, get over here. Let's hug it out, all right? Don't cry. It's a game. Sorry. Yeah. At least you make the one home, You're right? You're being too fucking strong. <laughs> to see Vanessa cry, it really kills me. You know what? She's a good person, and it's smart on her part to send me home. If I was in her shoes, I would do the same thing. It's all good, all right? Good luck. Later, bud. I feel really, really shitty about sending James home, but at the same time, I'd feel even shittier if I didn't and he cost me the money. Bye, James. Sure. Please walk away slowly so I can remember what I had. You could have been snuggling with this. <laughs> it sucks being so close, but at the same time, I'm leaving with my head held high. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna deal with my stuff. Life goes on. I wouldn't change anything. Amy, you are safe. You can rejoin the group. <laughs> I owe Vanessa big time. She decided to keep me, and I can't thank her enough. She understands that I am a threat in this game, but not her biggest one, so I can't wait to get to Vegas. From 14 to four, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Vegas is right around the corner, yeah. and that ton of cash is gonna be one of yours. I did what was best for me so I could win this money, and I have no regrets. May the best person win, and hopefully that's me. Get some rest. Man up, woman up. Squad up. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. This is it, 28 more miles to go, and I'm gonna win some serious cash. I've outplayed these people from the start, and now I gotta finish. Yeah. Tamika comes around the corner with a baseball bat. <laughs> All you have to do is just sit down and relax, and watch for those hand signals. All right, sir. All right, uh, I got guest on line one. Ready? Yep. Cool.